gonna rev the car for a video. Get a life. She said get a life. No, I feel like he's gonna get you. Probably. Today I am here with Eric and we're gonna be checking out his modified Corvette C7 here. Started as a 2014 Singray. Ended up tearing the entire car apart. Within two months of owning it, I had swapped the engine out to fully forged engine. Went with a Pro Charger. And I, when I started the build, it was roughly 700 horsepower. I didn't have enough fueling to go beyond that. So then I converted to a Pro Charger intake manifold with second set of injectors. So there's actually 16 injectors in this. Oh my gosh. Uh, triple fuel pump, the four full return system. It has enough fueling now to make about 50 1500 to the wheel. I maxed out on the F1A Pro Charger. Right now it's making about a thousand to the wheel. Eventually I'll switch to an F1X and we'll go for 13 or 1400 to the wheel. It's super fun where it's at. It's got built trans, built rear end, everything in the engine bay is modified. So as far as the specifics, what do you got in there? So it's still a LT1 engine. So um, I had bought Wesco pistons, K1 rods. Uh, it's got a 38% fuel low cam in it. Okay. Um, and basically like the heads are from C performance in Lansing, Michigan. I blew the stock heads on it. I actually dropped like a valve and it destroyed the whole head. So oh my gosh. That was, that was, hey, I got lucky because it didn't touch the engine. So, <laughs> that um, good. so I swapped the heads on it. So that's the only thing I've done to the engine so far. Uh, and I have abused it heavily for like two years. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's an F1, F1A94 Pro Charger. So it's the biggest air to air Pro Charger you can get. It's supposed to max out at 21 pounds. I have it running out to 23 right now. So I'm over spinning it slightly. I had it rebuilt just to check the bearings they said it looked pretty good so i'm pushing the f1894 right now but eventually i'll swap over to the air and water and go with the f1x okay so you said it was just a stingray but it doesn't quite look like a stingray anymore so what did you do to this thing uh, with the body panels it still has the stock front end panels so that's why you see like the stingray vent on the front there okay um but then the whole rear end has been converted to the z06 rear end and that's just to get more meat under the rear wheels um i had the fender shaved off on the stingray but it wasn't enough so i just <laughs> went with the full stock conversion you know i'm not a big fan of the tack on wheel wells so i just wanted to do the stock z06 conversion so the whole front of the car is stingray and the whole rear of the car is a z06 basically that's awesome yeah all right as far as the suspension what are you running for that so that's uh bc racing coilovers i've had a lot of luck with those i run them on a couple of my builds um and they're they're very good and high speeds uh, a lot of you know dampening customization that you can do on the fly on the dial on the top so i've had great luck with those so that's what i've stuck with for this build Oh yeah. What'd you put on there for brakes for better stopping power? Uh, so these are the stock brakes right now. Really? Okay. Yep. So everything's stock as far as braking. Um, they're the six piston right out of the gate. So I mean, that's plenty of stopping power for what power I'm doing. If I ever did anything, it would be to convert the rear so I can put a 15 inch radial on it. But right now <laughs> it's fine uh, where it's at. It's got a really comfortable mix of being able to launch at the at the drag strip, but also tracking um, and yeah. just general comfortability on the expressway. So I really like where this is at right now because this isn't like a primarily one of my drag cars so okay. i keep this out on the road nice so this thing is super loud what exhaust do you have on it yeah so uh i've gone through a couple iterations of the exhaust but today it's uh kooks headers so long tube headers uh, going down to a three inch collector and then uh as a specialty present just for my neighbor it is three inches all the way back completely open no cats no muffler oh nothing. My goodness. so it is just straight three inch open <laughs> Uh, all the way back to the AWE tips. There. That's awesome. And then the blower is super loud too. Why is that so loud? Yeah, so uh, I have a custom tube made where the blow off valve is pointing up and it's the race valve. With me maxing out the spinning on this Pro Charger, there's a lot of, of blow off to it. Even when you're up in the three, 4K RPM range, as soon as you let off the throttle, you just get that instant street sweeper. Uh, so <laughs> I, I really love it. So I've kept it that way. Um, but yeah, it is very loud. Yeah, that's yeah. sweet. It sounds amazing. All in all, what do you approximately have into this? build because of lessons learned with previous builds uh this time i went with a few like used parts like the pro charger i bought used had it rebuilt um the trans i knew what to do with it immediately whereas with my challenger i blew up a few things before i figured it out <laughs> yeah so on this build i'm at a modest like roughly 80 to 90 thousand which if you think about stock z06 pricing isn't that bad for pushing a thousand of the wheel no so, not at all um, i've done pretty good on this one really good cost for where it's at power that's awesome. So as far as zero to 60, quarter mile, eighth mile, what kind of times does this thing have? So it depends on the day uh, and how and how hot the tires are, but it'll do like sub three, zero to 60, and it'll do uh, like high eights, low nines at the track, depending on the day. Oh my goodness, yep. that's insane. Shall we take it on a spin? Yep, let's well, do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. 
goodness. I'm guessing this is going to be the craziest car I've been in so far. I hope so. <laughs> so the yeah. third gear pull, you're really going to feel it. Oh yeah. The fourth gear pull, you're going to feel it, but it's not quite as violent. Okay. So we're at proper temps now. Um, if I can find room, I'll do it. But I mean, we're going to go 60 to 130 like two seconds. So. Oh my gosh. You gotta have room for the pole, and then you gotta have braking compensation. Yeah. We might be able to do it right here. Later. You might pull me over just to ask me what we're doing. Plus, if she just called the cops, who knows? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I feel like he's gonna get you. Probably. Just cause. Yeah. So I'm gonna shift way too early because I need to try to keep it down. He's got his windows down. Oh, he left. Like. Wow, I'm surprised. Yeah, if she called, I'm really surprised that he got off me. That was nerve-wracking. I'm shocked he didn't pull you over. <laughs> I want to give a huge thank you to Eric for letting me film his car. Go give him a follow on Instagram at SchoolyFool. If you're new to my channel and you're liking this content, I will be posting a brand new video every single week. So be sure to like this video and subscribe, and I will see you next time. <laughs>